this Yahoo answer was sent in by Lisa Holofield. Thank you, Lisa. It's by Yahoo Answers user Buddhist Prime who asks. Is it illegal to take pictures of adults sleeping on college grounds after class when they are tired? <laughs> as long as I am not profiting from it. <laughs> okay. Wait, people, wait. People may not like it. People who are awake watching me take pictures of others may have a hissy fit about it. But there's nothing illegal about it, right? And if they get confrontational with me or put their hands on me, I can report them to the police and they can go to jail, right? Because people who do that have serious issues and need to be identified before they can become a later risk potential. Ultimately, I want to petition the dean for sleep capsules to be installed so that students, including myself, can rejuvenate our tired minds and do better in school. And I would use the sleeping students' pictures as evidence for this. Whoa. Oh Several issues. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. This rabbit hole goes so deep. By, first off, let's just get this out of the way. By students, they mean girls. And yep. by girls, they mean attractive girls. And by yes. the dean, they mean their penis. And by <laughs> sleep capsules, they may actually be talking about sleep capsules. That this may be actually great. be on the level. That That's mm -hmm. weird enough to actually be be accurate. And just, just so I know, in okay. what way would you profit from taking pictures of sleeping people? <sighs> what What is that? Like a coffee table book? There's a market for all that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Travis, you can sell pictures of anything. Look at I, yesterday. I looked for pictures of a bull in a china shop, but also all the but a candy shop instead, because it was to illustrate a very important post I was reading in my writing for my live journal. And I had to go to a one of the stock photo places and search for like bull in a candy shop, and I got a lot of results that I did not enjoy seeing. But I uh, but but I had to do it. People buy pictures of anything. Mm. Weird anything sleeping people dead people don't kill the people that are sleeping don't, don't kill, no don't, don't kill no, the no, people that's at all things that are illegal this okay. thing that you've described maybe maybe yeah, killing it definitely is. killing people definitely 100 percent right um so don't do that part i don't know if you take a if you take a here's the thing if you take a picture of me and i'm asleep and all you do is show it to the dean i won't <laughs> know about it <laughs> look at griffin Look, at Look how pitiful he looks. I can't do anything about it. I'm so tired. I got a little sunburn yesterday. I can barely move. I can't chase you down. I think that this is probably one of those things that may not be outright illegal, but if I catch you doing it, I will find a way to make it illegal. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll I will claim it in a way that will make it sound really illegal. You'll take him to Nickelodeon Kids Court. And yeah. Sue him. You'll sue him on, like, <laughs> Judge Judy or something. <laughs> Uh, There's no legal precedent for this, but sure. I mean, it's pretty pretty skeezy, I guess. I, yeah. If I see a picture of you taking a picture of an, an asleep person, I will find an adult, and they <laughs> hey, will take they will I take need care an of adult. It. I will go get a teacher, and I will make them do something about. Can it. you imagine if you were the dean, and brother rolled up with just like hey. five hundred pictures? And Let's, just like slammed them down on your desk. Like, I could really go for a naparoo. So here's some some smut maybe <laughs> like very particular smut this might be smutty uh here's here's the thing you fucking creep and i hate to poo poo your pet project here but they already have sleep capsules you know what they're called bedrooms <laughs> go to them and fucking sleep in them you weirdo i don't care that you're in college and you're discovering your body and you're questioning your faith i don't give a shit about any of that go to like a bank. Go to the mall. Go to a place where real people are doing actual things and see how many of these fucking people said, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm going to lay down on the ground and I just wish there was a capsule here that I could sleep in. Mm -hmm. And like, you know what I find funny? As you've been describing this, Justin, if this person were doing it as an art project, there'd be nothing weird about this. Right. It's the sleep capsule thing. <laughs> it's that. What the fuck is a sleep capsule? <laughs> I picture a tanning be. bed. I picture a tanning bed. He shouldn't be he shouldn't be penalized for having a functional project, creepy as though it may be. Because I don't know if you guys know this, sleepiness in college, it's an epidemic. It's taken over the world. That's why we have like five hour energy drinks and sleeping. Do you know like, what's in those? Sleep. Do you know? Do you know how much vitamin B is in a five hour energy drink? What the percentage is of your day? Enough to get me going. Eight thousand three hundred thirty three percent. That's too <gasps> much. Up, That's a little too bit much too much B. B. Just a touch too much B in those. 
Can I ask you guys a serious question about Five Hour Energy Drink that I've had forever? Yeah. Are you sterile because of all the Five Hour Energy Drinks you drink? Because no, I know yes. why I'm sterile. The on the commercial, it <laughs> says. What's your that reason? <laughs> it's because I make God mad. Um, on the commercial for Five Hour Energy, it says if you're not sure how it'll affect you to drink half at first, does that give you fifty percent energy for five hours or two and a half hours of a hundred percent energy? It's not. See, you think that it stacks like that. But I had a friend who uh, wanted to uh, stay up for an entire day, so uh, he he drank five of them, uh, like in a row, just like bam, 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 and then he uh, jumped up and he kicked the sun, <laughs> <laughs> and he burned it. He burned to death in the sun's obviously in the sun's heat. He, yeah. he died. That was the weirdest episode of Jersey Shore. If you guys have never seen that one, track mm-hmm. it down. Uh, uh, what a twist. Hey, here's my problem with the sleep capsules. Okay. How do you explain to a local homeless that you have a bed, but this one is closer to the Chick-fil-A on campus? <laughs> yeah. So you're going to sleep there if that's cool. And by the way, sir, if you could please not sleep in it, even Just, though, right, you're homeless. Yeah. How do you How do you have that conversation with them? Not that you should talk to them, but how if they were to approach you, right? flailing mm-hmm. wildly and shouting <laughs> about whatever it is they do <laughs> you know how they would be i've not interacted with them myself i live in a i live in a small town but um how i imagine they are how would you mm. have that conversation with them that you had that this is second bed and they can't they can't get near it it's you more like charge a nickel yeah most what? um you charge, you charge a nickel, a nickel to get get into the bed to, into the bed <laughs> i so you're saying that that if I was a homeless person, for th- for the princely sum of five cents a night, I could have I could have a home. Is that I what don't you're saying? know how the it's, homeless economy works, first, Dustin. A lot of misconceptions here. Uh, you don't get a whole night's worth of sleep for five cents in the sleep capsule. You right. get twenty. You get a twenty minute Energon nap, and then uh, <laughs> okay. the sound of sirens uh, wakes you up, and then you can you can put another nickel in, but it's. It, it just adds to your time. What do you guys think the perfect nap length is? What's the 20 perfect? minutes. See, I, I I usually need 25 just for that five minutes of just Deep get, in, get in that head space. I need mm-hmm. to get in the head space and I'm, and I'm going to take a nap. Maybe the go. sleep capsule has some sort of tech in it that just like, maybe like a hammer, just like bang, just like hits you right in the center, like in both temples at once and you die for just like 20 <laughs> minutes, but then you come back yeah. out of it. Because there's a needle, a needle that comes out and shoots Mountain Dew into your heart. Oh, and there's an adjacent Flatliners booth, so you mm-hmm. you can pay a nickel and Flatliners with somebody as they mm-hmm. take a death nap in the an adjacent capsule. Is that <laughs> yeah. basically the way I understand it? Right. Sure. Yep. Okay. With a homeless man standing guard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why do we not pay the homeless to guard our sleep slash Flatliners capsules? And that way, they wouldn't have. They would get a. It'd be a good steady work. And we're creating jobs. You're welcome, Obama. Yeah. You're welcome, Obama. I and all we have to do to get this plan to revitalize our country's uh, b- business sector, mm-hmm. uh, to shoot Mountain Dew into its its fu- its failing heart, all that we have to do is take some pictures of sleepy college coeds. Is that okay? <laughs> And, and in closing, Dean, thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. <laughs> that, that Sorry my... that I've been jerking off this whole time. <laughs> Just got out of the sleep inner, John, and now I have so much energy. I Gotta will see. It. I will find my own way out. I thank you. Please unhand my trifold board. <laughs> Good day. I am taking my poster board with me, sir. <laughs>